So hello everyone in the last video we have completed our styling of our countdown. Now we'll be just jumping on to the JavaScript and we'll be writing our JavaScript logic uh, to complete the counter. So first of all what we need actually is all the elements which are there or which we are going to need inside the JavaScript we'll uh, declare them in a constant variable so that we are going to do that first also this id should not be here should be in form but the class should be here yeah now i can use the javascript const and i can grab this form by using a variable counter form and i can grab that data or that form element by using get element by id Inside that, I can use counter dash form, the same ID which I used in here. Yeah. And after that, I can put a semicolon. I can declare the other variable, which is, I think this counter is there. And I don't need this counter submit button, I think. So we'll be leaving that. And then we can jump to this counter which is here if you need uh, anything else we'll be uh, getting that into the future uh, let's just import the main things which are this one with this main counter i'll be grabbing that by counter l i'm using document dot get element by id and then the counter is there and inside the counter we need this uh, title because we are going to change it dynamically so we need this element as well we are going to use this counter title l counter title l or element you can use any convention you want i'm using this one get element by id inside that i can specify the id of that title then after that we need these uh, spans which are there we'll be grabbing them by using const uh, time elements i can specify the name of the all the elements will be grabbed by uh, query selector all we'll be using query selector all uh, document dot query selector all what this uh, does is is gra it grabs all the elements which matches this uh, uh, this un identifier or for example selector so you can use any CSS selector here, for example, tag name or any class name or any ID name, right? Or you can use descendant selectors, which are there in CSS. But I'll be using uh, the span because only uh, these spans are there in our all code. So I'll be grabbing by uh, span then what we need actually is we need this reset button so because we need to add some listeners over that we'll be creating reset counter reset button i can grab them by count document dot get element by id because we have specified the idea so i can get that counter reset i can write that then after that uh, the other thing is uh, I think nothing is there in main counter, but complete is remaining, so we will be grabbing that complete. So we can also save this inside a constant variable. I can give some spacing if I want, so to separate them. No, be the yeah. Now it's fine. So I can give a co complete class or complete variable name. Inside that, I can store that complete screen, which is get element by ID. And inside that, I can specify this complete. And after that, there is this counter title uh, isn't necessary, uh, but this complete info is necessary. So we will be grabbing that. Okay. I'm using uh, document dot very select uh, get element by id again so this we have completed and now the last thing is this complete button so we want to 
trigger that as well by event listener so we'll be grabbing that as well complete button i can use document dot get element by id inside that i can specify these so these are uh, till now uh, the things which we need in our javascript so i'll be i have declared them inside constant variables so we don't have to reuse these document dot get element by id again and again so we have stored them inside a variable so we can use these variables whenever we want any action on those elements so the first action which we uh, have to perform in this video is we have we have to grab the data which are which are put inside these fields so we have to get that so how we'll be doing that first we'll be assigning an event listener on this form element which is there this form element we will be uh, accessing that form element which is this counter form i'll be specifying an event listener on this i'll be using counter form dot add event listener and then i can specify what type of event i want to execute i want to execute submit event and i can write uh, a function name what this event listener does is actually uh, whenever any type of action is performed on that element then it executes one function and that action can be of any type you can uh, see if i press control space in visual studio so it will give you a lot of event listeners so these are the events which we uh, on which we can listen uh, like uh, we can listen on drag enter double click cut context menu these are the things which we can use so till now i'm using uh, right now i'm using submit event so on submission of that form this function will be executed so update countdown or anything i can write so i'll be creating this function i can create an, an arrow function or a simple function also whenever we submit any form uh, we get this event object which is uh, like declared like this e this is a convention we use so you can also use this e and if i console log this e you will see uh, uh, the details of that form let me just console log this now and if i do that and if i let me just go to the main page refresh that and if i submit that so you can see that uh, no console log is there but it is going to a different route and the page is refreshed why it is happening because this uh, like normally a form whenever we use submit a form uh, this gets reload like your page gets reload and your data gets to a new route which we uh, sp specify uh, by adding action attribute inside a form so that like that is the place where your data will be going actually but in this scenario we are not sending any data anywhere but the data is sent to this event uh, this uh, function uh, but before that the page is refreshed so that's why the content is lost so we we are not able to the, uh, log this out so stopping that we need to add one method which is prevent default on e what this uh, method prevent default will do is this will stop the uh, reloading or refreshing of the page if the form is submitted so you can see that if i save it so the form will not be uh, refreshed or the page will not be refreshed again so i have, have to click on the submit so now you can see that uh, this is logged out and if you see this event object you will see, you will find many uh, information in here so you can grab the data as well if you go inside this src element so you can see that a lot of information is there right you can see that but what we need actually is let me just show you what i want actually yeah so we need this one we need this first input in which our data uh, our title is uh, inserted like this eat burger and then we need the second input value which is of a date type so inside this so how will we getting that data 
so we need to access that data inside the src element the first element is of input and then then after that uh, there is input uh, date so we'll be getting that in here so for that we'll be just uh, only getting that element so let me just use it uh, so let me just store it inside a variable like title and if i uh, like expand this zero as well so you'll find that inside a target attribute let me just show you that as well there is one target t4 st okay it's not there where is that maybe the value attribute will be there or the value property will be there inside that it will be okay let me just search for that it's yeah in here you can see that so this value property is that in which the data is there so whatever you will type you will get that inside a value property okay so we'll be do we'll be grabbing this value from this e or from this e object so we'll be getting that from e then we have to go to the src element we have to go to the src element and then inside that we have to go to the first element you can see that uh, after the src element then there is a zeroth element so we'll be uh, getting that from the zero index and then there is a value property also for the date we'll be using this e dot src elements the same thing but the element is now the first one or the second element inside that we have to grab the value attribute if i console log this title and this date now so if i do that and if i refresh the page and if i submit that thing now so you can see that uh, whatever we have typed is logged out here and if i change the content in here like uh, for example meeting sales meeting maybe and if i change the date here i can see that uh, the log is also changing that so now we have to populate this inside the counter we'll be doing that ins inside the next video uh, till then bye bye and take care thank you for watching the video we'll meet in the another one